Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, it has been a while since I reacted to vegan videos. Quite frankly, I had no interest because veganism is dead. The following video just proves that because, as you can see, Steve O is a guest at the Joe Rogan Experience and he claims he quit veganism. He talks about fake meat, processed soy, and why wheat is toxic for you. By now, I haven't reacted to vegan content in over six months or so, and as you can see, nothing changed. People keep on dropping out, especially Steve-O, who was not only a vegan, but a hardcore animal rights activist. This is not surprising to me, nor is it to my audience, really, because veganism is very short-lived. Most people drop out in the first year to the first three years. Then you have the hardcore vegans that go up to seven to ten years. We call this end stage veganism but even then 98% of vegans drop out congratulations steve-o for dropping out of this cult with no further ado let's have a look and said oh man what are you eating you know like you got all this yeasty you know like like uh they you know and i was like experts i'm like i'm like i i, I told them I'm, I'm vegan and they were like oh well, that's the problem is that like you're eating this highly processed and soy and wheat that your mm -hmm. body does not recognize as food yep. and clearly your body's struggling to break Obviously. it down Ugh. it's like it's like the, it's an ab and now the vegans will of course say it is due to him eating processed foods but at the same time they will tell you that you are too hardcore if you don't eat any processed foods they will always tell you that you did it wrong but ultimately there is no way to do it right because it doesn't really matter if you're just eating processed foods or so-called whole plant foods. I make the argument that the whole plant foods that actually no vegan ever eats long term anyways are the foods that give you the most distress because they come with the heaviest load of anti-nutrients. Everybody knows that. Look into it. Lectins, phytates, gluten and whatnot. They lead to digestive stress and depression. This is why so many vegans are on antidepressants. Absurd substance posing as food. Well, those impossible burgers. Yeah. We, we showed a study the other day that was showing that it's toxic for rats. Yep. Yeah. They, they fed. But if it's toxic for rats, it's of course not toxic for humans. Rats, the impossible burger, and the rats are getting sick. It's like Cancer. <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, if you, there's many, many, many healthy vegetarian choices. That's actually very interesting because rats can eat anything ultimately. And if you look into the ingredient list of the Beyond Burgers, the Impossible Burgers, it is essentially just dog food. So now imagine how toxic this stuff has to be to give rats cancer. Especially like uh, sure. some Indian cuisine that's vegetarian, that tastes great, good for you, but it's just vegetables. It's, it's not, not that sh that sh that's mimicking meat. Like oh yeah. And, and seed oils and all the f horrible things yep. that uh, people eat that are supposed to be used as industrial lubricants and they've converted yep. it to food for people. <laughs> exactly and that's right. really what seed oils are. Yes. Yeah. And in the seed oils, as Joe Rogan said correctly, are nothing but machine oils. They have been further refined, and the industry saw that with it you can make a lot of money. They refined them, removed the taste, and now you can use them for frying your food. Concentrations and high sure. levels of it. It's very inflammatory. Hardcore. There's all these studies done on it. it. It causes macular degeneration. Like Paul Saladino sent me all these studies that are showing that. Uh, high levels of seed oils is actually contributing to eyesight diminishing in people. I bet. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's the the really dangerous? Uh, is, it, is it unsaturated, polyunsaturated? Yeah. There's there's fats yep, that that's that they, oils. the problem with them seed is oils. when people cook in them particularly. They're not so good for salad dressings either, but when people cook in them, they uh, they break down under heat, and it that that causes a lot of inflammation in people's bodies when yep. people cook with those seed oils. 
Like again, they were supposed. They were originally created because either way, the polyunsaturated fats are already found within those seed oils. So if you cook them or not, they're highly inflammatory, anyways. Like grapeseed oil, it was created because they were trying to figure out what to do with these grape seeds. Like, oh, maybe we can get oil out of them, process yep. it. But it's like highly processed, and they have to do something to take the smell out of it and the taste yep. out of it, and like really processed. And then when you cook with it, it breaks it down and oxidizes it. And it's just terrible for you. It's, you're, you're supposed to like yeah if you just count one and one together you would understand that the seed is something that doesn't want to be eaten so if you look into nature everything has a function the fruit wants you to eat it so you eat the fruit flesh and then you spit out the seed with that you propagate the fruit and with that you ensure the survival of that fruit the fruit doesn't want you to eat that seed this is why you have so many anti-nutrients so many protective chemicals within those seeds those seeds are actually made to poison other attackers or in the best case scenario grow into a plant because they haven't been eaten but now the smart human extracts the oil out of millions of seeds of course this is terrible for you beef tallow is really good to cook with yep. but there's some saturated fats and there's some natural fats that are good for you like avocado oil is good for Coconut. you there's oils that are good for you but those oils are coming from it, i mean avocado is essentially a fruit Yes. Right. You know, it's olive oil is good. Right? Olive oil is fantastic for yeah. it. It's like, like a people super in food. Italy live forever. Yeah. Well, they also have different wheat over there too. They go over there and eat pasta, and they deal. They're dealing with heirloom yep. wheat. No right. So our wheat has more complex glutens in it, and it's highly uh, right. processed to to develop more yield per acre. So I remember. And the glyphosate yet again. In uh, it was like in twenty eleven or something. I'm having a. Uh, dinner with big jay okerson i love big jay he's the best he <laughs> says what's up what's up with gluten man five years ago nobody ever heard of it now it's killing everybody <laughs> <laughs> it's true <laughs> and it's true and i wonder if uh if if like the the process that it, maybe it's the what do you call it mgo or whatever um uh, modified GMO. The modified organism, what do you call it? Genetically modified organisms. Yeah, GMO. GMO, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Genetically yeah. modified organisms. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're talking about. It's, it's like they've, what they've essentially done is taking a normal wheat plant and they've engineered it to create a higher yield. And yep. because of that, there's more complex glutens in it. And that has, it gives your body, it's more difficult to break down. And but, is that a newer thing? Yeah. And so now more you've recent, got but. You know, and they don't wrong. do it in Italy. Like, right. in, and they also, it's, it's in Italy, illegal. they don't use glyphosate. Exactly. They don't use Roundup. Right. Like these herbicides. Like, there was a study recently that showed there gut. was something, what was it like 80%? 80% of the people they tested, they found glyphosate in their blood. Absolutely. Glyphosate can destroy your gut lining. And this is why many people conflated the issues of gluten with actually glyphosate. They believe that it is the gluten that is attacking the gut barrier. And yes, to an extent it does. But what is really happening here, what is really destroying the guts of those people is the glyphosate. Being all these plants that have been sprayed with herbicides, then that herbicide shows up in your body. Yep. And all these people, these shills would be like, oh, well, it's just a small amount. It's <laughs> a small amount of the poison. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We should mm. keep using it. That's how we're feeding everybody. It's, yeah. only, it's only one way. And Gotta the, take the poison. And, and the Monsanto <laughs> people that was? <laughs> have, at the Monsanto headquarters, they serve organic food. Do they really? Yeah. It's like. You sure? I think so. I, I th Is that true? Google that. I, I, that I, that I, seems I, like bad PR. <laughs> 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 seems like that's gonna get out. Right. right yeah. What? Uh, that's hilarious, though. If it's I, true. I, I, yeah, they don't f with their own. Shit. Well, you know, we're supposed Why to be eating they? organisms in the way that they form in nature. You know, the healthy right. things in nature: healthy fruits, healthy vegetables, healthy animals, and eggs. The that, issue here is that you don't really have vegetables forming in nature, and the fruits that we're eating neither. If you look into fruits and vegetables nowadays, ninety percent or even more is man-made, man-fabricated. Not only GMO modified, but even prior to that, you already have seen crossbreeds and what not. So ultimately, none of those fruits and vegetables you would find in nature that's how you're supposed to eat it just what that's what well, you know in factory farming whether it's both monocrop agriculture in terms of growing food and even growing animals like we're things we're
but nature sure. and this this trade yes you absolutely are because animals in nature would never eat corn or soy so we do that we feed corn and soy cheap gunk to those animals so they get fatter and we have fattier meat but like that we're eating sick animals and in the long run it makes us sick as well trade offs and consequences when you do that and yeah. i don't you know i think there's definitely people that are just allergic to gluten but man i know sure. that when i eat wheat and I eat bread and pasta when I'm in Italy, my body has a different reaction to it. You don't feel as like weighed down, you know? You don't feel as like bloated and just, ugh. Yeah. But then again, bread's delicious. And good, man. <laughs> nice piece of bread with some butter on it. Oh, nice. so good. I nice slice of lasagna. Yeah. I think it's one of those every now and then things. Like I was in um, New York City this past weekend, and I ate at this uh, great Italian place called Carbone. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, it was amazing. So good. If you go there, try the spicy rigatoni. It's fantastic. But it's like, don't do it every day. But I got to tell you, the next day, I felt a little fat. felt a little bloated. <laughs> yeah. I uh, went for a while there, and I was avoiding flour and sugar. And my buddy says, man, whatever cookies you're eating must suck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Nothing surprising here, as I said already in the beginning. The only thing that is interesting to watch is how ex vegans talk about veganism once they're out of it. As I said, Steve was a hardcore animal rights activist, he was a long term vegan, and he used to speak very, very good about veganism, as we all did. For my new viewers, yes, I was a vegan for four years straight, and now, thank God, I'm an ex vegan. Interesting to see here, as I said, is that Steve ridiculed kills veganism and every ex-vegan does it the vegans that are still in the cult they look at the bad bad ex-vegans and they shame and blame them oh why do you make fun of it why don't you eat just a little bit of eggs if you really need it for your health but ultimately once you snap out of it your eyes really open up and you see how ridiculous it was how ridiculous you've been for years and years on end eating all that plant gunk and alienating all your friends and family members for ideology that ultimately destroys you all right guys but this is it for today's video finally a vegan reaction video again i hope you enjoyed it if so leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and if you want to support this channel all the links are in the description box below thank you so much for your ongoing support guys as always may god bless you all much love and peace